Hello YouTube, today we're going to fix the uh, scroll wheel on the CM Storm Devastator. Now, this is a problem that's been happening a lot. When you're scrolling up and down, it'll skip a tick on the page and it'll bounce around and it just won't get an accurate reading. So, um, today we're going to fix that. Um, it also, this also fixes the squeaky wheel fix, so if you're having a squeaky mouse wheel, it'll, it'll fix that also. Um, first thing you're going to need is uh, rubbing alcohol. Um, it's just good to clean electronics with. Uh, you're going to need some Q-tips and uh, preferably a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Um, flathead preferably smaller than the Phillips head just because you have to get that one uh, bracket. And uh, let's begin. Also, a light would be very helpful. So pretty nifty. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the six screws on the bottom. Um, make sure you get this one covered up by the sticker. Second thing we're going to do, you're going to pull it back, pull it open from the back. So, let's see if I can pop it open while holding the camera here. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do, you're going to remove that um, that bracket. It just opened up on me, but it'll be completely sitting into the, the bracket mount, and you need your flathead screwdriver for this. You need to, you need to uh, separate here and here before pulling the top notch out, so you don't rip the uh, wires out of the top notch. Once that's off, you can remove that. Now here is the problem, right here. I've already removed the screw right here, so um, you're going to need to remove that first. Um, once you remove that screw, you can actually take this little thing out. This is the reader head. This, what it does, let me try to zoom out and get better uh, perspective here. What it does is it reads the inside of the mouse wheel and detects movements. When the inside of the mouse wheel gets dirty, that's when it starts, you know, skipping around and jumping around and get not no longer getting an accurate reading. It's because the dust is creating uh, little divots where it, it reads offset. So what you need to do is you need to get your swabs and rub rubbing alcohol and put a swab inside of the mouse wheel. There's a little gap here and you can just put the swab inside the mouse wheel and spin the mouse wheel a few times um, just to get all the dust off the inside of it. Um, swab the reader head just in case there's any dust on the reader head. And you want to make sure when you put this back in that it's the reader head is perfectly inside. See how it sprung out there? If it sprung out it wouldn't have been uh, reading accurately and I wouldn't have been able to scroll. So you want to make sure it's tight inside when you put the screw back in. And uh, that's that's the fix. So if you're having any trouble with that, that should fix it. Um, if it doesn't, I mean, it's a pretty cheap mouse set. It's not perfect, and it works all right. So um, if you have any trouble with it, you could probably just buy another one for you know ten bucks or something. And uh, that's that's what I got. Thanks for watching.